Hey, this is Mike with uh, Pine64 again. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to burn a micro SD card for the Android and the Remix OS images. It's a pretty simple process, but let's go through it first step first. First thing you need to do is download WinRAR. Um, you can go to their page, just type in in your browser WinRAR and or WinRAR.com. It's going to ask Go to the RAR official site, download now, download that, install it. Once you've done that, go ahead and go to pine64.com. We'll go there right now. Let's just close that and start over. Pine64.com. Now, when you get here, scroll all the way to the bottom and go to Wiki. I'm sure there's other ways to get here, but this is the quickest way I found and the most direct. Once you get here, go to Software Image Download. Software Image Download, click on that. Now once you've gotten here, there's two things you need to get from here. The first is the image. So if you're doing Remix OS, make sure you have the latest one. The latest one is always at the top. Android, same way. Once you have the image downloading, go ahead and go to Other Tools and go to All Winner Phoenix Card Bootable SD Card Creator download that as well. Now, make sure WinRAR is not just downloaded but installed. Once it's installed, we're going to go to where we downloaded both the Phoenix card and the Remix OS image or Android image. You need to extract both of these. Right click, extract, control C, control V where you want it, or extract to. Any of those options will work. Um, do the same thing with the image. Once you've done that, you'll have your Phoenix card folder. Go to it, scroll down until you see the little green folder. Open it. The first time you open this, it may be in Chinese. That's how it was for me. I don't know if that's how it is for everybody, but it updates. I'll change. Now, you need to make sure you're formatting and putting the image on the right drive so let's go ahead and make sure we're doing that let's go to this PC this is my micro SD card that I'm going to be burning on that's drive H let's go ahead and make sure this is on drive H let's make sure we have selected the image okay and then make sure you have write mode on start up F your card will be burned to startup mode. Yes, that's what we want. Now the first thing you want to do is format to normal. I found I have more fells if I just burn it. If I just format to normal and then burn it, I have really, I've had one out of like 15 fells. So let's go ahead, start that. This is a really short process anyway. Format card to normal mode, success. Sweet, we're done with that. Now we go ahead and burn it. It wants to make sure you know that this is the right drive. Make sure you have the right drive selected. Or you may be in trouble. <laughs> Formatting the card. Burn success, burn success. And this is where it'll take a minute. Once you get to the second boot, you'll see boot and ENV and then boot again. At this point, I'm going to talk about once the first boot. The first boot is going to take a little bit. It can take two to five minutes, I found, on the one gig board. It might be less on the two gig board. I haven't gotten my other boards yet, so I'm not sure. This is still the developer board. But um, it shouldn't, shouldn't be too long. The first boot takes that long because it's extracting the startup and the boot process from the card. And that's what we're creating right now. That's why we need it on Startup F. Uh, you won't see anything always. Sometimes you will. Sometimes it'll come up with the flash screens, but that's it. Just let it work its process the first time it boots. It's okay if it takes a few minutes. It's okay if it takes a few more for you than it does for me. Let it go through. As long as everything on this menu comes out successful and it doesn't come out as a failure, you should be good. Your card shouldn't have any problems you should be fine booting up the first time and after that's really easy so success success
complete, complete, complete. See right here, magic failed zero. So mine failed this time. That's okay, it happens. Go ahead and format to normal. Great. Go ahead and hit burn again. Hit yes. That's actually a. Let me try it one more time. Ah, now it's failing left and right. Let's go ahead and exit it and see if we reopen Phoenix Card Reader. I've never seen that many fails in a row, but I guess it happens, right? Should we have the right image? Format to normal. Yes. Success. Great. Burn. Yes. It's okay if it fails. I mean, I found I had like triple the failures. I had to go to Disk Manager. I had to do a bunch of other stuff that was way more in depth than if you're just a basic user. If you're a bit, if you're not a basic user, you'll know all these things. You have to go and format the drive a different way. Try a few different options, do a few different things, um, but as long as you do the format to normal and then burn, I've always been able to get it to work eventually. I mean, if it doesn't work a few times, close the program, reopen it, try restarting your computer, try ejecting the micro SD card, putting it back in, make sure it's the same letter for disk and that you're not burning to something else that you shouldn't be. Just go through, you know, the basic troubleshooting steps. You'll be okay. Uh, and then let's hope this one doesn't fail. I mean, it happens. Not a big deal. I probably imaged this card itself <laughs> quite a few times, and I'm sure the more you format and reimage a card, it's gonna eventually have more and more failures. Oh, yep came out complete. Magic completed. Burn. End. Nothing failed. Great. Exit. Your card's ready to go. Go ahead and test it. Put it in. Boot it up. And if you have any comments, let me know. Thanks.